Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and no doubt you are well familiar with the next generation science standards. According to NGSS, science can be organized into three dimensions. We have the scientific and engineering practices, the cross-cutting concepts, and the disciplinary core ideas, or the DCIs for short. Now, it's the DCIs that really form the content nuggets that students need to understand in order to become scientifically literate. When it comes to gravity, the DCI suggests putting off the major coverage of this content area until middle school. However, you'll be accessing gravity when you explore other concepts in science that relate to gravity in one way or another, such as orbit of planets or perhaps weathering. Once you get to middle school, however, you'll see gravity as an interactive force, which is a non-contact force, and you'll study more about it in depth. But while you're doing that, there is a misconception that often comes up with many students, and that has to do with the mass and the speed at which objects fall to the ground, because many students have the misconception that the larger the mass, the faster it falls. And I have a great activity to show you that will address that misconception. For this activity, all you need are the following. Three table tennis balls a small piece of string, and tape. What you need to do first is hold up the two balls above a desktop and drop them at the same time and observe when they strike the desktop. Here we go. Watch that again. much at the same time. Okay, but what happens if I were to double the mass of that ball? Would the balls travel at twice the speed? Well, one way to find out. What we're going to do now is build a system using these two table tennis balls. To build that system, we'll connect them together using that piece of string. So we'll take our tape, and use it to connect one of the table tennis balls with the other one. And now we have a system of two balls. Now let's compare the speed at which this double ball system falls in comparison to the single ball, one that has half that mass. Here we go. One, two, three. they fell at the same rate. Interesting, because this system has twice the mass than this one, yet having that extra table tennis ball did not increase its velocity. And you know what? Students may understand this even before you do the activity. But what a great eye-opener and a great way to address the misconception that objects with heavier masses fall faster.